Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome back to the darkest Assign uh, in a state. It's time to get the ruins up a little bit. Uh, we'll take on the Swine God at some point, but not now. This time we're going to run a short champion here in the ruins. We could run a medium champion, honestly. And I'm, You know, I think I'm going to try this one. Might as well give it a go. We're a little broke on cash right now because we went and upgraded people to best weapons and best abilities, which cost a bit, especially the Abomination for all these abilities. My god. It wasn't cheap. Uh, we're going in there. Who are we bringing? We're bringing in Spartan because Spartan can hit stuff and not miss. That's going to be a critical factor here. Healing from Bard and also the stabbing. Why with the stabbing when he needs to? Steebling we're depending on for our stuns and our blights because skellies don't bleed, but they sure as hell blight. So padlock of transference and restraining padlock again for the stress when we need to go ham. Pretty cool. Uh, I like that stuff. But anyway, and the other thing is that transference gives a stun and skill chance, which is critical for us. So that's kind of what he's doing. Lady Loft a straight up damage dealer, boom boom. Because we don't really have a decent uh, a decent bleed, effectively, and we can't really bleed anything in there, we're gonna focus with breakthrough instead rather than that so we can hit something in the third position if we desperately need to, but those will be depending on Iron Swan and Wicked Hack to do the work, so. That's kind of my thinking right now. Uh, trinkets are aligned according. Let's go on medium champion, what the hell, you know? If something goes badly, then it goes badly. Uh, let's go get the right amount of food. Let's go ahead and get us some torch. Probably, s you know, just in case, because I don't want to take a fight on bad light, especially in here. Let's get like a couple holy waters here. Definitely a couple keys. Get two shovels. And what's some, uh, there's no herb. Let's get like one or two tops, I think. No real bleeds and no real blights to think about. So that's probably good in my mind. Let's rock and roll and see if we make some profit off of this. I'm hopeful, because we spent a lot of money prepping this. Let's let's do it right. Let's double check. Food, torches, skeleton key, shovel, and we got medicinal herbs, and we get a free bandage, so that works out. Alright. I think that's fair. Let's rock and roll. Indeed, that's why I'm bringing holy water, restoring them to their rightful condition, and basically, more importantly, helping us out with a heal or a stress heal. Pace out the halls of your lineage of rooms. once familiar. So we can now, take a look. Foreign. Foreign. So no matter what we do on a medium, right? I think we can skip two rooms. We can skip these two effectively. We can kind of do the weave. I uh, do the weave. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid the fight if I can. So I'm gonna kind of take this cure and go up here, go there. Then check out the room. Then we're gonna have to backtrack a little bit here, and then we're gonna go... We have to backtrack twice though, right? That would kinda suck. Screw it, let's take the fight. Thinking of light efficiency here. And we'll get a feel for how bad this champion dungeon could actually get. And we're about to find out. First fight is right around the corner. And it's the collector. Why, why would I expect anything different from this jackass? All right, well. If I was gonna hope for stuns, well, let's see, 95% chance to stun, I mean, resistance, 30 stun and 169, so still a 70% chance thereabouts, but at this point, I'm gonna just go nuts. I'm not gonna mess around, because this is already bad enough. I'm gonna go ahead and do as much damage as humanly possible to this guy, because this is no joke. The first fight in the entire thing is already the collector, like seriously, what the hell, man? What the hell indeed? Let's get a blind fire on so we can increase our speed, because we're going to be a little low otherwise. Wow, that's piddling damage. You piddled. Okay, so he's at about half after that ass kicking, but now he's going to collect call, and all his little doohickeys are going to get a turn. And they got double dudes that crit, so this needs to not happen right now. We need to drop one. Oh, the dodge. And we're at maxed skills, so there's... Oh, he's going to give him extra damage. That dude needs to die yesterday. Wow, that's going to suck. Okay. Um, take a swing. Gotta kill the heads, man. Gotta kill the heads. Kill that head. Oh, he's not dead yet, and he's gonna take a nasty swing at us. Oof. Good dodge. Good dodge. Can we get a kill? Let's do some abyssal. Double miss! Oh, the dodges, man. See? That's the freaking non crit 26, by the way. I can't believe the first fight of the entire thing is a collector. Like, son of a bitch. Like, really? We can't really get a good swing in here. We have to just kind of... With the dodges! Guys! And why is my sniper rolling minimals? Wow, we have horrible luck already. We just started here, and our luck is rapidly decaying. It's really frustrating. 
He's gonna do more damage now, which is scary. Right, heal yourself, please get a good heal. Uh -huh. See, he, he literally bring him to death's door. This is not helping our sanity right now, obviously. Headhunt. 13. So that was a really high roll on that guy for some reason. That's so much damage. Holy shit. Alright, let's kill... Can we roll more than 7, please? That's the third 7 she's rolled. Oh, she's gonna heal him now. Fuck. That's two rounds of Arbalist fire. Come on. Don't stress out too much, buddy. Oh, with the dodges! Unbelievable! I haven't made any progress. That's four dodges in a row. And now we have the protector. Fuck me. Okay, let's see. This is gonna go badly, I'm afraid. Uh, we can break through, but that's not gonna be enough damage. This is only... How much damage does this do? Six to ten. That's not enough, man. Then we reduce our own damage. Better off just whacking a collector at this point. This is bad, man. This is bad. We're gonna get wrecked. Oh, we're getting wrecked. Getting wrecked. Come on, guys. We need to do better than this. We need to do better than this. Please hit the damage. Five dodges in a row. Okay, okay. And now we have a stun, which I can't undo, so we can't kill the collector. Wow, this is just absolutely shit right now. We need I needed that so I can do some damage here. Okay, we got that done. So the big damage dealer's gone. Finally. But oh god, what a frustrating, frustrating fight. What a frustrating fight. I haven't gotten anywhere with this. I don't even know where to start. This has not been a good run so far, and it's really not helping that we're not getting the damage we need. And we're fighting these heads for so fucking long, and we can't kill this guy, because he's now currently guarded, and we're getting so much stress on our um, accuracy. All right, let's do rake, so we can hit something that way, but do no damage, of course. This is not fair. Oh, and the lifesteal. Am I gonna have to retreat this dungeon in the first fight? Because that's just ridiculous. Okay, we killed something. We killed the, the guard. There's no more guard here, technically. Because he's dead now. Headstrong, you're gonna make him hit harder unless the heal, unless the heal. Oh god, this fight. Nine damage. What is with your damage? I gotta check what the numbers are, because I'm feeling like she's underperforming in a big freaking way, and it's not good. He's already up to 68. Like, this is ridiculous. We're gonna start bleeding out pretty soon. Oh, fuck me. Come on, guys. I need you to do better than this. I really need you to do better. I was gonna say something really curse-like, but I'm gonna restrain myself. 34 crit is a good heal. It's good news. Can we just do some damage to the freaking collector? No, no more stress on my abomination. We're gonna need to spend the next entire fight de-stressing. No! No more healing! Fuck! Come on, guys! Oh my god! I can't keep this up, man. There's too many dodges. Too many freaking dodges. Every time. And, it, like, he's been at, like, 60 HP for the last, like, seven turns. I can't freaking do anything. Uh, God, it's so frustrating. I have no idea. I mean, you probably have a great idea, because I'm just cursing a blue streak at this point. But 9 to 15, we're rolling 9 and 7. Like, really? I'm gonna try to do more damage that way. Just eliminate the problem, because obviously these guys are dodging too. Oh god, I really wanted... There's a 14 heal every turn. She needs to die, apparently, because I can't do anything else. And the heads are still up. Every single head is still up. This is too much damage, man. This is a fight. It's just been going so badly for us, not even funny. Okay, got the healer dead. The damage head is still up. Life steal? Sure, why not? Because we need this fight to go on longer. Okay, you need to heal yourself now, buddy, because we're getting bad. Alright. Okay, that guy's dead. But our... And my dogs are going bananas behind me. I will deal with that momentarily, folks. I apologize for that. Oh, but it's just one of those... One of those fights, which is not helping my frustration in any bit. You're going to collect call. Of course you are. What did you get? Two highwaymen and a healer. That's pretty much as bad as it can get. I need this guy to die. If she heals him, we're pretty much screwed now. Um, Alright, I need to do damage to something. I can't do damage to him. There's no way. 
Just nice crit. Yes, doggy, I'll get you in a moment. I need to focus on the fight, if you don't mind. Collector's finally dead. Okay, good. Headstrong, they can do that. Oh, the damage buff. The 26 is from the damage buff. Now that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, we can... What's the accuracy? 110, 105, 100. This is really accurate. Should do enough damage. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Good. Solid, 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 solid work. Solid work, folks. Parm in the momentary last. My dogs are going bananas out there, and lest they irritate the neighbors further, it was time to do something. Alright, this fight has gone to absolute shit. Our abomination is stressed out beyond belief at this point, which is not helping. We can also do a little bit of healing here. We're obviously going to get started bleeding out a little. It'll increase your healing received. Can we just kill this thing? It's got so much damage. It needs to not exist anymore. You need to start healing people up, because we're getting a little low on health. That's not a big heal. Not helping. Headstrong. Is that healing? That's 15 healing. Yeah, why not? I need this fight to go on longer. Right, you need to get out of this mode, because you're stressed the hell out. Transform out. And we can try and get a stun off. What's your stun resistance? Pretty low, comparatively. Yeah, 169, 70%. This is probably a guaranteed stun, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We take less damage. Okay, man. 11 minutes into the episode, we're still in the first fight, because freaking collector. Okay. Let's start healing up a bit here. Um, go ahead and keep bandaging her so we can focus heals on other people. Increasing that healing receive buff, which is nice. Alright, let's go ahead and now absolve to de-stress. Headhunt. I can self-heal and de-stress, so that's actually the best target you could have possibly done that to. So we can hack kill, kill him, please. Oh, 1 HP. She's going to heal him for 16. We're going to call it a day. Of course she is. 1 HP, people. It's a bitch. I mean, what can I say about that besides crap? The Arbalist is healed up. Luckily, this fight lets you recover pretty well without worrying too much about uh, the timer running out, so to speak. I'm gonna keep reducing that stress while I can. You're like, some of you are like, just end the fight. I'm trying, really, I am. And three HP, meaning he's gonna get another swing. Oh, Jesus. Waits. That's really bad. Wow. That hurt her a lot. And she's gonna keep healing this guy. I gotta kill the healer then, apparently. That's gotta be the deal. It's gotta be the deal. Alright, well, change of priority then, I guess. This is nuts, man. Stun that thing. We'll focus the healer instead. Ugh. And there we go. Another heal. God damn it. Yeah, that's the problem. I am trying to kill him first to avoid the damage, but we're having such bad luck on the damage rolls that, you know what? Not even worth it at this point. I'll try to do damage all over. Maybe kill the healer at some point. Here, die. Thank you. All right. Rolling lower and lower every turn too. That's not helping. The frustration is palpable if you can hear it in my voice. It really is. It's kind of absolutely fucking ridiculous how this fight's gone so far. But all right. Seven damage. Let's go ahead and we can't stun him anymore. So do this ourselves up, and that way we at least reduce most of the damage we took this turn. I mean, this uh, particular mission. All right, just kill the son of a bitch. Thank you. Okay, so that was awful, but at least we came out of that with near full health, and abomination stress isn't that high. So, wow, what a shit start to the mission. But hopefully things will be looking up from here. Again, on medium we can drop two rooms. We'll drop those. We'll try to get through the rest of the mission without too much of an issue. So nothing on the ground, clearly, so we got to keep the light up in case we get into a nasty fight. What's in the bag? The sack's contents are mine. Excellent. Let's see? Alright, fair enough. Let's see what the next room holds. Probably nothing good, is my guess. Nothing at all. Well, nothing good and nothing bad, so in that case, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take that one. Let's see. No. Oh, good. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, he's going to get a disease of some sort, of some horrible ilk. Another scout. We have a uh, ruined scrounger here, so it's pretty good. All right, we're going to have to get into another fight here. So we're going to kick the torch up a couple levels because we don't want to take the fight on low torch. That should be fine. 
Alright, so this is not as bad a fight as the Collector was, so we're going to take the opportunity to kind of reduce stress and heal up a bit. We're obviously going to kill these things first. Then we're going to take the opportunity for a couple spot heals here and there. I mean, as annoying as that last fight was, though, I gotta say, like, after Wolf, whatever, like, those, even that seemed less ridiculously bad. Alright, heal yourself first. They're not gonna kill anything else, really. Oh, we can go with our blind fire here, it doesn't really matter what I hit. That was pretty much what I wanted you to hit, so that works out. Spear Trust. 10 damage, is that a push? That is a push. It didn't work, but it's a push. Bump. Yeah, that's fine. Hit the front liner, that's perfect. Totally cool with me, bro. Hitting the right target each time. I like that blind fire. Alright, now we can go ahead and blight out this. It's 5 damage. You have 8 HP. So if we blight this out, those two pretty much die. You take 10 damage, you're at 11 HP. That's fine. Alright, you tip up. Nice. If she bleeds, I was going to say I'm just going to heal her up. But in this case, I'm going to head to an easy breakthrough. And the, everything missed. Okay, that's really unfortunate. Slowly. That's remarkably unfortunate. This okay. Alright. Yeah, accuracy. The dodge on these... The dodge is really what killed us with the little heads. So we just couldn't get anything in edgewise, so... In this case, you have to take the, take the heal. It's gonna die anyway from the blight. There's no reason to do anything else. Absolve, reduce stress. That's good. I love the stress reduction on that. It's so important. Adrenaline rush. Get that last little bit of heal and the bonus healing from that. And let's go ahead and... Oh, we can get a nice little top-off heal here. Solid. And I. Okay. So luckily that fight permitted us to get ourselves back up to full health, more or less, to operating. I'm not going to bother with the books. They usually end up something bad. I feel like I'm eschewing knowledge here, and it's not really the idea or the intent. It's just I need to not get too stressed out. That's kind of part of the deal. I don't want to risk the light, a potential the bad effect for a potential good effect. There you go. Still got room in here because we haven't had a lot of decent curios, just a lot of nasty fights, so. All right. Trap. Kind of expected that at some point. 14 Ancient damage and some stress. We'll live wait. with that. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. Yeah, you're unsprung. <laughs> get sprung! You get sprung! Alright. This fight shouldn't be too bad. This coral guy does a lot of damage. And if you're stressing the guy who can self-reduce stress, I thank you, sir. That's pretty awesome. It's a lot of stress, though. 15. You have, like, stress of unholy or something? You have zoophobia. Fear of eldritch. Ah, there we go. And you're eldritch? No, you're unholy. Oh, he's just basically just has some issues with stress. That's fine. Let's do the blight. Let's do the blight. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't knock you down. Close. But no cigar. Now we have Seagar. Good. So no more stress. This could be damage. This is damage. 13 is a lot, I gotta say. 13 is quite a lot. 11 is bad. They're hitting my back row, which is, I find frustrating. Ignore our frontliner. She's gonna make them rue the day they did that, but okay. So do I really care about what I hit here? I kind of do. Yeah, I want to kill that guy. See, now you're doing damage more than 7. See, isn't that nice when you roll something that doesn't that suck? On its own. All right, we can heal or we can blight some more. How is your stun resist? Seventy percent. So seventies are really easy to do. He doesn't do much except the axe blade. Let me just stun you up. Chains are pretty good. It's a pretty good ability. Got medium damage, but uh, solid work overall. All right, let's start hacking down. You're gonna die from just a blight. I don't need to do any more damage to you, friend. All right, you start healing up. I'm taking some damage here. I'm taking some shots. Dead weight. Oh, it is the miss. That was the attempted stun and move, so we got him. That guy's dead. Next round, no problem. Those blights are strong. I like that. I like that about me. Okay, let's go with Bola, or maybe just a quick heal will be better off. Honestly, at this point, that guy's dead no matter what. Chop you. Good. Stun you. So we can get another round of healing in if possible. Good, he's this dead. Unforeseen. Okay, you can go ahead and bandage. Oh, you can't bandage yourself. All right, bandage my abomination. You're going to have to heal thyself, healer. Good. Yeah, those heals are getting stronger, and we're rolling the bleed less, which is crazy. 84% base means we should be bleeding, like, all the time. So we've been... I think we've just been astoundingly lucky with that. Is that is that the only thing that can make sense here? Yeah, I think we've just been astoundingly lucky with that. Let's all the stress reduce. Let's go with blind fire. Can hit everything. Good shot. All right, nice. Good fight so far. 
cool. Oh, we can't get the portraits, huh? As victories mount, so oh, too will let's see. We have, we have two extra food. Good. So that's fine. You eat the food. Take the portrait. And this looks like it has a lock on it. Lock sarcophagus, indeed. Contents. What do we got? So, what is that? Move stone. Not that interesting. Uh, we could go and take these crests in place of the one bandage. I think that's okay. That's not what I meant to grab. There we go. All right, works fine for me. Okay, we'll probably do is camp right around there in that empty room, and then take the last three rooms on. So with that collector fight, I'm kind of hoping we don't have too many more nasty things in the hallways. Another trap. Seems to enjoy picking Ambushed on our arbalist. All right. What else do we got? Nothing. All right. Let's see what's in between this room and the next. This will be where we camp next. Fine. Hunger vent works. Not again, really? Wow, we got lucky twice there. So we've been Perhaps unlucky with fights, but really lucky with the curios and things that are coming out of them. So, you know, that's at least that much is good. Because that was getting freaking ridiculous. At this rate, though, wait, do we have the scout all the way through? I think we have the scout all the way through. So let me go ahead and get this curio. I think we have the scout all the way through. Because we had that room being empty, yeah, yeah. Let's get this curio. Because we can, we can burn a little bit of torchlight now. Since we are more or less gonna camp right now. I could go back and get this cures at some point if I really feel like it. There's a trap. Who's a good trap disarming? Oh, no one's really good. Wow, hunger events. Jeez. So more bad luck. Excellent. How wonderful. 60, 80, 70. Oh, I'll take the 80%. Disarm. Good. I'm gonna get in here and we're gonna camp now. Thank you. Ridiculous. Alright. Yes, firewood. Camp. We're watching steps, so we have to do Gathered this. Close and no more food. Well, we had a lot of hunger events, so this is kind of not exactly great for me. Let's see, what do we have? Dark ritual. No, so we don't have any no ambush abilities, do we? I really should train that up. Uh, so reject the gods. No. Why don't we go with? So we can go field dressing. We do triage. So we can totally heal up. But more importantly, we want to reduce stress. So reduce stress on the a bomb. Anyone else can reduce stress. You can encourage here. She needs to reduce stress a lot. Pep talk. Uh, Sharpen spear. Yeah. A crit. If five more time levels. Let's see. Uh uh. One companion. All companions. Yeah, not self, though. That's the issue. Let's go ahead and wound carry you up. Still have room for three, huh? We could go anger management here and just take 20 stress, reduce 10 from everyone else, but that's not really a benefit, honestly. We gain more stress and we lose. Don't really feel like any of these are particularly useful. How about just make sure you stress less? Alright, I think we're okay. <laughs> like, abandoned hope is like quick, but painful. Alright, we're probably gonna get ambushed here, knowing my luck with this run so far. The way nope. is oh, lit. lucky us. The okay. path is clear. We require right. only, the strength, to only the strength to follow. I do feel like we're going to hit another hunger event, though, and get the stress from that and the damage. I mean, inevitably, right? Because we did get three hunger events already. Hacks laden with loot are often low Let's on see supplies. what we got here. Clear enough. Okay. So far, so bad. Let's see what else we got. Another torch. Cool. I'll take it. I'm going to use that anyway. So that's fine. Waiting to be Fortune, it's just a torch, buddy. Could be critical if you had low light, but we're doing all right. Okay, so we got some humans now. We got some stress. Luckily, we gave her that buff because now she's going to be getting less. Imagine how much more stress that would be. We got 17 already. It's crazy. So we have a lot of stressors in this fight. We'll need to destroy them. I'm thinking I may go A-bomb mode just to go nuts. This is getting irritating. They're getting Such moves. They're getting crit. Like, this is... Cannot be left unanswered. Well, there's like 50 stress, just for shits and giggles. Alright, that guy's not worrying about stopping from doing anything. Let's go ahead and try and kill these guys quickly. Nice crits. Nice crits. Big old critties. Nice. Alright, we're gonna go ham. We're gonna absolutely go ham right now. I'm not gonna be fucking around anymore. This mission has been going rough enough already. I'm not gonna screw around potential loss and go halfway on this. Well, no more stressors, assuming crits stay out of it. Oh no, not the axe blade. Alright, how are you doing? Well, I don't really care which one you hit, so let's just go blind fire on something a little faster. Good, that's a weaker target, so that's fine. And does more damage, so. Alright, uh, blind fire, yep. 
Well Frog crit. Okay, not bad. You need to max out weapon. I guess the Arbalest really doesn't do that much damage. I need to get her like a damage buff. The accuracy is important because she hasn't missed, but her damage is freaking piddling by comparison. Uh, we can rake or we can rage. Yeah, we'll do we'll do more damage from rake in the future. So yeah. And wait, she's gonna need to purge that bleed off her and heal herself up. Oh, she got the stun. Never mind. So much for that happening. That's great. Get a heal up. Just really low. That's a shitty heal. If you stack a bleed, I'm gonna kill you. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and how close are you to dying? 10. Bola does 4 to 8, so not a kill. I'm gonna try to risk a blind fire. Oh, 1 HP, as always, on this mission thus far. Okay, I'm gonna keep fetching, by the way. In case y'all are wondering, I'm gonna keep complaining as much as possible. That's what I do. All right, adrenaline rush, cure the bleed, heal yourself up. Go ahead and. Mm, heal her first away. She's squishy. A little squishy. Crit heal for 12. That was a really low roll, but it happened to crit, so yay, I guess. Hey, you're a jackass. Right. Uh, blind fire. More damage, not bad. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna de declaw yourself here. Go ahead and absolve thyself as well. Heal up to full. There we go, had a boy. You're back and functional now. Good. Yeah, having a lot of like little self healing buffs helps on these nasty fights. They've been we've been pretty pretty good longevity despite that. What is this? Unlock strong box. Ball. Well, let's see. Well, in case there's a trap, why don't you do? You can de stress. All right, cool. Not a trap. Wealth Not a trap at all. Measure. All right. To the brave and the fool I'm get rid of the alike. citrine to get the busts. So let's reset the party. Yeah, I know. We, we got scouting. We know, we know. So there's double fight in that side. Let's quickly get this room, then we'll get the torches up and get the other thing. It's kind of the nature of the beast here. Double fight's no good. All right. We're going to ignore the books, because usually they end up badly for us, or give us nasty quirks and things. Then we're going to head back, and that should be the end of the dungeon once we get to this last room with the treasure. It's going to be a nasty one. I'm really concerned about the food level at this point, because we have none. Like, zero food. We shouldn't get another hunger event. That would be unfair, but... When was the last time this game was fair? In radiance, may we find Let's victory. Go. Another torch. Cool, I guess. I mean, yay. If only treasure could staunch the flow of other worldly corruption. corruption. Alright, got some stressors and some damagers. There's a stress. They're really focused on my arbalists with the stress. Look at that. She has no way to stress reduce herself. 56 already from this bitch. That's crazy, man. It was worth a shot. If we got a good crit, that might be a kill, but eh. Thanks for that. Alright, let's go ahead and stun you up. So we can take less damage, I guess. We'll pull a uh, stressy wenchy forward if possible. So we can handle her with other units. So we can't get her. We get her deaded, maybe? Let's see. 12. If I roll really well, that's unlikely. And she dodges the pull. With the most accurate ability, she dodged. So it doesn't matter what I did there, I would have missed. Okay, maybe we can get a kill here if we're lucky. Unlikely, though. Unless we crit. Unless we crit. And we didn't get any kills. Oh, that's really shitty. Okay. Light him up. That might be a kill. No, she's gonna have one more round. She's probably gonna stress the Arbalist even further. Which would be par for the course at this rate. Got the bleed now. Yeah, that's really, really shitty. Yup, of course. Of course. There she goes. She's up to like 75 already. She's gonna get afflicted very soon. Don't you hate it when things freaking focus you that badly? It's very cheap. See if you hit that crit before, you wouldn't be in this position. But now you suck. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and heal said young lady up. She has a big axe and I don't want to irritate her. Seems like a bad life decision. Alright, let's go... We can't actually hit this guy. Oh, we can. We can do manacles. We can do manacles. Manacles are good. So we can kill him, or we can... I think we're going to purge off the bleed, and then we're going to kill him with everyone else. So there's no real risk of anything else going badly here. Let's see. All right, stab him. Almost dead. Goddamn. All right. Kill him. Thank you. Her stress is really high. It's not good. Not good at all. What is that? This stun stone? That's not particularly interesting. So we don't have any curios, as far as I can tell. We don't have that. So the holy water's not really going to help us much. 
So you pitch that, just put it on people and uh, hope for the best. Let's do that. Holy water, holy water, and holy water. Abomination is holy enough. Get enough holes in him. All right. The match is yeah, yes, I'm wasting torches. A blazing because who cares? Star okay, good. Born. Let's go. A blazing star is born. All right, we got a blood letter and some cutthroats. Should be able to handle this. Should we go ham here? I think it may be useful instead. Was your stun resist? So we can definitely get a guaranteed stun here. We start blighting. Let's start blighting. Kills faster, maybe better in the long run here. An iron swan, you. 41 crit. See, where was that earlier when we had the nasty fights? That's what I'm talking about. Like, that would be. I would love to see more of that if you could. Would you kindly? Seven damage. That I would like never to see again. That number is pissing me off right now. And how much damage did you do? Seven. Seven. On this, this difficulty, man, like, seven should not be any number for damage you're putting out. That's just ridiculously low. That's like basically a turn of blight. Ugh. You're getting stress, stress, stress. You got bled, but that's all right. Keep vomiting. Vomit for fun and profit. You're gonna die now. You can go ahead and take a, let's take a blind fire shot. Good, you hit the right guy. It's a good chance of getting that one right. All right, let's start cracking you up. This guy's definitely dead from a 10. All right, I'm just double checking now. But yeah, I yeah, know, he's definitely dead from a 10. Uh, let's go ahead and stab you. Uh-huh. More AoE stress. Luckily we have the, uh, no, we, we ran out of the um, holy water buff. Most people resisted the bleed, though, which is nice. Okay, so this is pretty much all she wrote, effectively. We could stun this guy, or we just blight him some more. Blight him some more. That'll be fine. Blub, 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 so he's dead now. That's a guaranteed kill from the blight. In case we got a crit heal. It was worth a try for the stress heal. Alright, see, maybe. 10. Alright. And you did. Good job, everyone. Alright, so we're gonna pitch a lot of stuff here, obviously. There's a lot of money here worth a damn. So let's see. We don't need this anymore, so we can take the cash. We can get rid of the shovels to take the bus. The deeds, again, are not as interesting. We're gonna need one of these for the treasure chest. So, yep, deeds are just gonna have to stick around. Just not do much. Sorry, deeds. Continue. We're not leaving yet because we have this tasty little heirloom chest to check out. Oh, that's a lot of busts. Okay, we're gonna get rid of you. We're gonna take busts. Okay, guys, 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 guys. There we go. Eat some food if you want. You are gonna need some stress relief there, Spartan. You took a little bit on the noggin there, but alright, now we're done. Now we can go home. That was a rough run, folks. That was a rough run. But it is a medium champion that we ran through. If we didn't have the collector, it wouldn't have been this bad. And I firmly believe that. Like, it really wouldn't have been that bad. But instead, we had that as our first fight. It was just brutal. Brutal. Our first, of course, our first, like, medium champion, the collector, shows up. Because he always shows up for the ones that are important, right? So he's like, hey, guys. Sounds like you're doing something interesting. You mind if I screw it up? Photomania. Tw minus 20 stress. Oh, that's good. Healer's Gift. Replaces Eagle Eye. Uh, mankind Hater. Okay, I'll live with that. Replacing Resilient. Okay, that's... These are all kind of unfortunate replacements. The other abilities were better. But okay. Worst things have happened. I remember days At least we got some cash out of that. And laughter could be heard from the tavern. And laughter could be heard. Do we have a level 3? Wow. Why'd I even invest in this stagecoach? Like, legit. It's all level 0 supposed to level 2. That's ridiculous. All right. What's the gift from the... Oh, we have a Necromancer as well. Necromancer Lard. What is this? Damage is unholy, crit versus unholy. This is another focus ring with... Okay, so we have two bosses we can go to. I'll decide which one to go after later. It feels like the Necromancer would be... Would be easier. That seems to be the... For me, at least, with the party makeups that we have, would be the easier boss to go after. But, uh... Yeah, we'll see what we'll do. But for now, I have a nurse. It's been the darkest sign of this estate. And I'll see you all next time. Till then.